Hello, I'm FBX Sleek and welcome back to another Mapcraft video. These are videos I like to make from time to time on my channel where I go into a really complex Minecraft question and try to answer it using maps. And today we're going to be talking about chess in Minecraft Bedrock because you might not be aware of this, but you can actually stack chests next to each other as much as you humanly like. You can have chests behind a chest, in front of a chest, above it, left, right, below it, and it's still going to work just fine, which is really interesting because it means you can make giant chest stacks like this. And one of the things I immediately tried is like, what if we had a mega stack of chests? And what I immediately found out was, well, it causes some serious effort. FPS drops because you can see they are an entity, but then it got me curious, what if we didn't just build a 30 by 20 by 20 block of chests like we have there, what if we filled an entire world, so the entire world from ceiling to floor, from uh, you know far lands to far lands, was filled entirely with chests, and that's what I'm going to be answering in today's video, uh, hopefully you all do enjoy it, so like it if you do like it, because it helps out the channel a lot, and let's know you do like these sorts of Mapcraft videos, again I like to answer the insane questions on Minecraft, but with that said, let's get straight into the very first thing we need to work out, which is just how big Minecraft uh, bedrock worlds actually are, because you might be aware that the Far Land spawns at about 12 million blocks in each direction, but the exact number of blocks it is is 12 and a half million with 821 blocks at plus or minus in that direction. So that's for both the X and the Z scale, which means that our world is, you know, if you 1, 2, 5, 5, uh, 0, 8, 2, 1, if you multiply that by 2 and then you do that in both directions, that gives you 25 million 100, uh, 1,642 blocks in any in both directions, which means we square that because, again, that's how you work out the area of something, and that means there is 630 trillion 900 192 uh, billion 431 million 96,164 blocks in a Minecraft world, and that's just counting X and Z scale. That is so many blocks by itself, and doing anything that number of blocks is pretty intense. But then we obviously have to times that by 256, because fun fact, the height limit is actually 256 blocks. It can go all the way up there, which means for you know the sake of our calculation, because we want to fill every single possible space with a chest, we're going to multiply that number by 256. So we'll do that on the screen right now, and you actually get the number of 161, if I'm not mistaken, quadrillion, 303 trillion, 662 billion, 360 million, 617,984 slots in your Minecraft world. So that's a pretty decent number of slots, right? Uh, you know, pretty number of, uh, you know, blocks you can place things in. You could do anything you like with that. Even filling that with dirt would take you forever, you know, an, an, an infinite amount of time. But if we wanted to fill that with chest, then we'd have 161, tr you know, uh, quadrillion, uh, what, 303 trillion, uh, trillion, 662 billion, 360 million, 617,984 chests in your Minecraft world. So, simple as that, right? That's how many chests you have. But then immediately the question you have is like, well, how many slots is there? How long would that take you to build? So, that's where things get pretty nuts because we want to multiply that by eight to work out how much wood that would take. And the answer to that is one quintillion, 290 trillion, uh, you know, sorry, quadrillion, 429, etc. You can see the number on the screen right now. But that's how much wood it would take, which means you'd have to spend an enormous amount of time, you know, chopping down trees. And, you know, the last trees will make it impossible to place the last blocks. So realistically, you can place that many chests. You could place that many chests minus two because you'd have to slowly place yourself into a corner of your Minecraft world. So you'd be like trapped in a little corner where you're like, okay, everything's surrounded, but me right here. Every every other block in your Minecraft world would be a chest minus two of those. So just as a fun little fact. But then the big question that comes after, okay, it takes that many you know chests to fill a Minecraft world. And by the way, your FPS would be like zero at that point because bear in mind that even like having like, oh yeah, it's something like 6,000 chests causes the FPS to drop this much. Imagine how much having a quadruple really, uh, you know, yeah, a, a quadrillion number of chests would be, I'm just saying, pretty insane. But then what if we work out how many slots all of those things could contain? So there's 27 slots in a Minecraft chest. If you don't believe that, then here is a chest right here. You can count the slots. It goes nine wide. So one, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And it goes three deep. That's three times nine to make 27 slots. 27 slots in the chest times that by 64, um, which is the number of individual items you can put in a slot. So for instance, we could fill it with uh, iron, or we could fill it with arrows, or we could fill it with anything that's stacks up, even chests if we wanted to. So if you were to do that and to have 64 slots inside every single chest and to fill every single chest with its 27 slots all the way to the max, uh, by the way, a double chest is just two chest uh, sl slots combined together, so you can confirm it's just 54, but that's over two slots. So every single block in your Minecraft world is the equivalent of 27 by 64, which is 1,728 slots in a single block of your Minecraft world chest. So if you might multiply 1,728, again, that total number, by the number of chests we can have, which is already one quadrillion, uh, you know, it's already 161 quadrillion, 303 trillion, and then you multiply those two numbers together, then the number you get, the number of, you know, things you can store in your Minecraft world is pretty insane to say the least because it's 278 quintillion, 732 quadrillion, 728 trillion, 559 billion, 147 million, 876,352 
slots of storage and you wouldn't be able to access any of it because you'd be boxed in the corner but that is how much storage you can have in your minecraft world if you are to uh, fill it with chests so yeah do you want to embark upon this challenge let me know in the comments down below i'm sure it'll be a lot of fun to do so and realistically this isn't something anyone is ever going to do it's realistically not something that <laughs> i would even recommend starting to try because again you're going to cause yourself an insane amount of lag and even the most beefy pc in windows 10 edition would not be able to run this world effectively uh you know like any pc known to man because there's just too many entities. Again, look at how much this is causing, uh, you know, lag on with just like 6,000 chests. Now imagine the number of chests is in the quadrillions and it just isn't going to work effectively. However, it is a really fun question and it's something where just as soon as I realized that you could stack chests and as soon as I realized what if we made a giant stack of stacks of chests, uh, it, I just had to answer and hopefully you all enjoyed the video. So let me know if you did like this Mathcraft video. It was a little bit shorter than normal because I just wanted to answer a question uh, short and quickly. If you liked it, you can like it and let me know because it helps out the channel a lot. Let's know you do like this sort video and want to see more map crafts in the future share them if you liked it and subscribe if you're new around here because i make videos like this one every single day on my channel and if you subscribe you'll see them daily on your homepage. thank you very much for watching you can see how weird things get over there um thank you very much for watching this video i'm gonna go into the wall of just extreme lag one more time and if you want to see more of these videos make sure you turn on notifications because you'll see them daily on your homepage. thank you very much for watching goodbye